You're watching Health Media Network, helping people live healthier lives. The National Osteoporosis Foundation recently released new data estimating that approximately 9 million adults in the U.S. have osteoporosis and more than 48 million have low bone mass, placing them at risk for osteoporosis and broken bones. Now we most often associate osteoporosis with women as they age, but you may be surprised to learn it's an issue with many men as well. In fact, 1 in 16 men over 65 suffer from the disease, and few men are currently tested for or diagnosed with osteoporosis. The American College of Physicians is urging doctors to screen for osteoporosis in men, especially those over 65. Osteoporosis is a major public health issue in men and is significantly underreported, underdiagnosed, and undertreated. Osteoporosis is a disease in which bones become fragile and more likely to break. These breaks or fractures typically occur in the hip, spine, and wrist. With the aging population, hip fractures are expected to double by 2040. Once diagnosed, a variety of treatments are available to reduce the risk of fracture. We recommend that physicians should periodically assess the risk factors for osteoporosis in men. Risk factors for osteoporosis include older age, which is generally over the age of 65, low body weight, weight loss, fractures in the absence of substantial trauma, and lack of physical activity. Patients at risk are given a bone density scan, a procedure for determining bone loss, which provides a very accurate picture of whether someone is at risk. William Murphy learned he had osteoporosis 10 years ago and has taken steps to strengthen his bones. I'm glad I found out about it when I did because it probably prevented me from breaking bones. Osteoporosis rates among men are expected to increase 50% over the next 15 years. Dr. Charles Cutler is incorporating the new guidelines into his internal medicine practice. The guidelines are very useful. At this time, I can now show my patients something very concrete that uh, tells them that yes, in fact, as they get older, the risk of osteoporosis is increasing. And in fact, I now know that by the time a man is 65, there's somewhere between a five and 7% chance that he is suffering from osteoporosis. There are two great resources for you on osteoporosis, the National Osteoporosis Foundation, whose website is nof.org, and also the American College of Physicians. Go to acponline.org for their recommendations. I'm Ben Garrett reporting.